you know Renee or anything? Yeah, harder for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we have time for one more question. How are you doing? Good. Great. On behalf of Universal, welcome to the Leatherheads Press Conference here in Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, this is the last stop on the Wilson Top Tour. The first question is going to Greenville News. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you all? Good. <laughs> Good. I'm Lilia Callum Penso. I'm with the Greenville News. Um, and I'd like to ask Renee first off. Um, you know, before you came to Greenville, what were your expectations of the city? And also, you know, once you were here, what most surprised you about the city? Um, okay. You know, I have a lot of friends from the Carolinas. So I knew it'd be beautiful. I knew we'd have a good time. And I knew we'd eat really well. <laughs> um, what surprised me? Well, I went for a nice little walk down that bridge on my first day. And that gorgeous reservoir that I... I ran around pretty regularly because um, I had some time off on this film. There were a couple of football games I didn't have to play. Um, I explored, yeah, I explored a lot. We had a really nice, nice time. Really nice. Time. I think we, I, I think coming in, everybody knew it was, you know, we, you know, Greenville isn't just a complete mystery to yeah. the rest of the country. You know, I, I know sometimes when you're a smaller town, it feels that way. But so we sort of knew something about it, but uh, I don't think we really understood how. Uh, how pretty it was going to be, and how welcome and how easy it was going to be to work here. You know, sometimes it it can get tricky when you go on location, but it was really easy, and we used pretty much every location. Do you hear a feedback? Or is that in my skull? I thought that was a really special trick. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Well, my first question is for you, George. Uh, I think both of you come from smaller towns, and um, of course. George, you have been in the business a long time now. Easy, easy. No, really long. Yeah. Very, very and, long. Um, back, you know, in the early part of your career, did you expect to be this long term in your career? Uh, uh, you mean with the mullet that I was sporting at the time? <laughs> you know, I thought the mullet would last longer. Um, no, listen, I'm, uh, I got lucky. You know, I happen to get lucky enough to get on a television show that 40 million people watched every week, and that sort of makes a big difference in your career, because I, I was sort of plugging along with a perfectly fine career. So I, I, I find myself uh, constantly in a position of uh, much, uh, much more successful than I ever thought I would be, so it's fun. Uh, and I take advantage of it daily. <laughs> no, it's, it, I, I've had a good time. Hello, over here. Hi. I'm Kristen Mastasia. I work for WSPA TV. It's the local CBS affiliate. And my question is about the extras. You guys needed a lot of extras for this film with the football games. Um, what would you say to them? We tried not to talk to them or you know, look them directly in the eye. You know, that was one of the rules. Um, you know, they were so fun. You, you, most of them were down on the field tossing the football with us. You know, it really was sort of a big, uh, a lot of this was just a big, fun time. It, it was great because it was unseasonably cold at the time, and uh, we were all a little surprised by that. We were soaking wet and covered in mud, and they all had to kind of bear through it to the kids playing football and the kids... Uh, and all the, all the people uh, in the stands, it would go from 60 degrees to 22 degrees, you know, in a day. And they just stuck it out, and they were great. So, uh, I mean, the reason we came back was because of them. The, re the reason we're here is because of all those people who stuck it out with us, and we thought we should come back and, and say thanks. It was